All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller, here on Farming Simulator 22. Silver Run Forest, folks. <clears throat> Y'all might hear some coughing. Might hear some gagging. I don't know. But y'all are going to hear me talking about what I got done so far. I tell you what. I got rid of the... I'm going to leave that running so it'll warm up. Got some logs there. You can see what we done got done so far of the mountain. Some more logs. We got a, a light and a barrel that don't want to stay up no matter how many times I put it up. But there's our north entrance up. And uh, went around that way. Got a ramp going here. I'll just show you this way first. Uh, they spilled some gravel over, but that's good because right here was our line anyway, down through here. It, it's, well, actually, our line's about right here, so it went a little bit more than expected all the way around. Got majority of the trees down. I don't know where the line was here, but. Some are like right in here or something. I want a little extra out. You can see we'll pile a little bit gravel here. I know it's really more steep. Had a lot of trouble getting those. But uh, it did it. And uh, we got... You can see our line's about right here. Where... Um, where we're at and that went on down a little bit further. Um, I still don't know quite how much more we got to go. I, I know it's going to take another layer than this. So we got that layer there to finish taking off. And then come back and probably take that much more again. Which should bring us down about here. I think we'll be good here. But down on that end down there might have to take some more trees. And then on this end. I know we're going to have to take more trees on this end. Just to get caught up. Well, anyway, what we got left up here is this auto load belt. This truck here, which is uh, 500,000 liters. 500,000 liters. Yeah, yeah, I said it right. You got a tree there. Now you can see a couple trees and stuff on this side still to go. But this using the, the bulldozer, which this is a baby compared to what we need. And y'all going to see what I'm talking about here soon. Uh, we got the extreme rock breaker on this. Well, I mean, extreme is the ones that's in the map besides the terraform. Because it's this really dirt with gravel texture that I got. Now, I, don't, I think I got all the rocks. I'm not for sure. But what I'm going to... Try to find one and show y'all. Is it any around here? Hmm. But the rocks are kind of like this here. You know, they're. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You take the jackhammer too and you polarize them, and they're just like little ones out and about through here. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's for those. Because terraform don't work on those, and I think these are six meters. Some may be five, some may be six. We still got some room for some, so if I can get in the truck here, we're gonna put it back on the front trailer because the back trailer is pretty much full. Back trailers, I think, is all contract, so. Gotta be a little careful on those. And I wanna see if I can get some more on the front one here. And let's see, oh, uh, O and then B. I know it ain't quite stacked right, but I don't know. There we go, pull up a little bit, we'll get some of the others. I may have to get out and turn them. Sometimes they just won't go in unless they're turned a certain way. Get this one here. Oh, that's going to cause a bug out because I went through the metal. 
There we go. It's loaded on the back anyway. That worked. Causing some kick off on the other side, but we'll go over and get them. Must have kicked off. We'll hop back in and hit B again and up do that side there. And then we're going to change hit O again. Hit B again. It should take care pull up a little bit. There we go, it fell down. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Unstrap, restrap. I don't think it's gonna hold them all. Which that's a that's a good thing. Now this load here has to go down to uh, the south because we got, oh, those are 12s there. All right, we're gonna skip that pile. Those are 12s, that's what the future's gonna be. So the next load might have some of these on it, unfortunately. All right, um. kind of full so it's not wanting to take them I want to stop right there unstrap restrap because yeah one of those look like it's not on there I'm going to change to the front I've got all of them set for that and there we go I said I'm going to turn it off for now go get some of these beefy chunky ones right here that's kind of in a way and I kind of stop it a little bit see that and just went to the back and put one right there that's all that's going to hold I'm going to switch back to the front oh nope nope back to the front Try, yeah, oh yeah, right there. Unstrap, restrap. I want to say that's it. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of full there. They're all over the place. Maybe I can make this turn without snagging them. I hope I don't roll this baby over, cause you know, you see how the back trailer's handling. Yeah, it's not quite of a, a right amount degree of a ramp there you know it's kind of going to belly out and this guy here needs a uh, another bag so when we bring this truck back we're going to have a bag or two on it because it's got 50,000 in the hopper of the wood chipper thing there so uh, whoa 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 oh oh man all right um uh, well i'm gonna show y'all how i do this i am pc only so i got to uh, uh lift everything or muscle mod whatever you want to call it so i just kind of do it like this till I get it where it will stay on its own. Which is not helping none because it's wanting to roll down the hill. Then I get, oh, it's not gonna. And I kind of lift up on the trailer a little bit too, which that was way too much. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Kind of roll it back. Uh, and you can't do it with the the oh open like it's on the side of the logs you can't do that because the logs want to turn in between so you actually need on the trailer itself raise it up to the smidge and rotate back to you and then about when that gets oh that wasn't quite ready Right when you see it's going to get to the, the tires like that, I usually let go of it. There 
has a lot of tension on that for some reason. Raise up, rotate. I'm on back up as I can do it. It's better on flat surfaces. It's not not wanting to do it this time for some reason. I might have to separate them. Well, folks, I hope y'all are doing all right. It's your host, uh, Mr. Miller, Tommy Miller Farms, uh, Mr. Blue Farms. All right, I'll be right back. This is taking way longer than that's being being. I might have just to separate the two. Are kind of whoa that one turned over can I get this in the stay drop go, that's it go back go back stop right there please be upright with the truck yeah I'm gonna take put this in Probably right here. Well, it ain't gonna stay. All right, be right back. I just want to take a quick look over here. You know they got the that one building tore down in the last episode. Well, we or they put up another iron oil furnace. So there's two of them there. We're going to take a look at that too here in a little bit. I figure I'll kind of give you a glimpse of it as we drive by. Alright, we are going through the wrong way. Don't try this at home, kids. Well, hey, yeah, you know. Sometimes farmers can get by with extra stuff, like maybe burning the fields off and stuff in the middle of a no burn ban. But other than that, you know, we got to pay it smart by ear and everything. So don't do it at home. All right, taking the straps off the back, straps off the front. We're gonna hop out. Uh, icons here. I'm gonna try to get where we can see it. Uh, contract on 18 spinners, fifty thousand two hundred seventy-two dollars, four thousand thirty-three dollars per minute score. That's pretty good, folks. And by the way, we are at 1.1 million. Seventy-six thousand forty-five dollars to our name. Now, uh, get back in my truck with the keyboard, cause some. Oh man, I can't do it. I gotta get it. It's the one little stick right there, but a whopping forty-eight dollars. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> All right, hopefully tomorrow our grass and stuff will be ready to get. Uh, I got to make a pit stop somewhere. I'm trying to figure out, I guess we'll go through the farm shop here to get to it. <sighs> it's always run here, run there when you're a farmer. Especially when you're the boss. But uh, anyway, you know, uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors put your link here hopefully or your uh, thumbnail page there's our wheat by the way and it's almost ready two more storage gauge uh, uh, growth stages and it'll be ready to harvest so I can't wait for that now y'all probably like well I should believe you don't you have a combine I know folks we don't so Here's the time to put in uh, y'all answer to my question. Do y'all want a big combine? Get it done within a couple of seconds. Which would be good if we had contract missions. But we only got contract on field one that, that it gives us. So that's a kind of bummer. But uh, I was thinking going old school, getting a little... Uh, oh, I would have catch a tree. I'm just taking this route because I want to show y'all something. Right up here past this pond on the right that you can see on the mini map down there. 
Yeah, I come across a makeshift road. See it right here? It's just, they strung some gravel down on what the best recommended road would be. You see, we got some rocks there we got to take up. Those are the ones I was talking about. Uh, it looks like they want to go up through that way. And uh, we got some trees to cut. We got to make this road a little bit wider. We might have it kind of fancy looking. I don't know, because it's going to be my house. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. Well, as you can see here on the right, down to the gauges or fuel gauge, it's glow. Um, <laughs> this thing is so dirty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I scare. Um, where's that? And our vehicle is that the truck or the thing? That's gonna be the truck. Let's turn the truck on. As you can see, we got water, diesel, and death exhaust fluid. So, um, and we've been plowing our way down through, and we got to this rock here and uh, sprung a leak, but okay, that's in the cat. As you can see, it's low fuel also. Oh, it's doing that. It's kind of quiet. That's a good thing. Oh, it's doing the next gen. I'm going to see if, uh, Well, right, this way, trying to see strength fall. Okay, that's in this thing. Get it out of the way. I guess the fuel tanks on this side could be on it might be on this side that might be why I can't get that in the uh, oh start engine M all right you see the icon right there pop up different gauges and stuff it looks like the death Anyway, it's got to go right there, so we'll back up. Oh, it's blue, so... Uh, refuel engine speed dozer. Uh, as you can see over there, it's barely, barely climbing. While we're waiting... We can raise that there, but I want that down. Uh, turn on dozer and lower dozer blade. V, that will get it where we're plowing. And X, turn on dozer blade. It's kind of like turning on a stump grinder down here. And this top piece here kind of cuts the bottom down lower. But you'll see that here in this, this second. I'm gonna cut one down so we can get the semi here. Uh, I wish it'd show how much is left in this tank here. Whoa. Oh, right there. 1,340 and going down. 1,300 even. I like it. it's got a gauge on it. Dozer's full, so let's turn this around. Boy, this thing is dirty. 
I just want to show y'all. I think I showed y'all once before. But with the dozer blade on, uh, we'll let it down. Not that much. About right there. Just barely. And you see how that does that? Watch the stump. See how the stump just disappear? Turn the dozer blade off. And then we're going to push. Push the stump here. Or not stump, but the tree. And then we turn it back on. And then we lay the oven down. Kind of lift up on it like that. Turn the blade back off. And then when we get done with that, we can just swing right around. Lift the dozer blade up just by the, uh, the right stick and, and the left bumper. But we can uh, probably park it right here. And then we'll switch to the back. Uh, lower missing something there. I don't know what that is. That's the winch. So that might be it. But we'll come back here. Grab this. Um, attach to tree. And then uh, left is attach another one and it goes from there. Tree rope's too long. I'm going to turn on muscle mod. Bring the tree over. And just hit left again not long enough so we bring it a little bit closer try to might have to move that over do that again and um, attach it there and then we get in to the dozer and we'll just take off and we find a clearing I'll just pull this bad boy up and over here. And then, uh, detach tree from winch is left bumper from Y. And then we just, you know, go about our business here. Lower this here down a little, not all the way. And then maybe you got enough room there to kind of just push these guys over and bring some more up like that. And that's all it is to it. And uh, shut it off. Now I'm going to bring this truck up here because we need fuel in it too. Um. Did I hit it in time? Nope. Right there. There we go. While that's filling up, I'm going to run up here. You can see I got some right there drug up, and I got some here in a pile. And these probably are longer than 12 meters. I uh, really don't know, but I'm going to load these into the semi truck and uh, go from there. Might unhook one and just have one trailer up here. Man, I would've got it in that. 958 liters left. Um, hit alt button. I don't know it's M. Okay, M turn it on, M turn it off. And supposed to be maintenance on this thing too somehow. Oh, there's turn on high pressure washer. That's out of the truck here. So we're gonna give this a little wash because it needs it badly. Just going to wash the truck off a little. 
get the windows. Oh yeah, this thing was dirty. Ain't gonna know how to act. Probably need to wash a bulldozer too. And this thing's got a winch on the front of it. Alright, that's pretty good right there. Um Okay, I put it back up. I don't know if it turned it off or not, but it's good. Our truck looks a lot better, as you can see. I'm gonna get up here a little ways and go to there. Should be just this one. And we're gonna go on up here. I'm gonna do this off screen uh, so y'all don't scream. But yeah, this is where, oh crap, where I wreck everything. Future of our, our of my home, aka y'all's home too, because y'all gonna be seeing inside of it. And uh, after this, we'll build Mr. Yankee and Colin Julian and, and uh, Christy and Anna and all them. Uh, a home for them too. So right now, I'm going to hit enter, and you see how it kind of shortened, that's 4 meter logs, and that is a 12 meter log, and these are longer than 12, so I'm just going to pull up to right here, most of these are already pretty even, get our trusty chainsaw out, and run into a tree, we're going to come around here, and usually about right here is 12 meters or it will load them to that so we're going to go through here and do some chopping real quick and I usually hate this part because it's kind of hard uh, well this time it's making me a liar that should be right there I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all Yeah, that way, because they're pretty close at it, so. Again, here I'm going to hit the O button on the keyboard and hit B. And uh, kind of back up a little bit, slam on my brakes. Do that a couple of times. Why is it? All right, I got one log. It's causing a hissy. Kind of pull that out and there we go. I'm just going to put this one back here on the side for now. Probably put it on the top. And go back in and hit B again. Most of them are falling down pretty good. Alright, I'm going to strap this. I'm just going to back up. And then we're going to catch the rest of these. Oh, they all want to go to that side. Unstrap, restrap. And just restrapping, unstrapping, restrapping is just going to let them stay in their right place until I get situated. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's not. Oh, it's still on. Oh, stop, stop. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to get back and fix that. Oh, me. It's always a, a work in progress, you know. I need to slow down my controller. I've been saying that for a long time now. Okay, that one's done kind of strapped in. Let's see if we can do something to this. Okay, there we go. That in there really needs to be... Oh, yeah, 
is strapped in, so. Alright. That's about good. We're going to go in here. Just going to make these a little longer. I thought I'd turn that off. Apparently I didn't. Alright. Now we're going to go over here. Grab these. Now these are going to go to Sawmill North. Not the speedy sawmill, but the other sawmill. And I'm sorry it's going to be uh, kind of nothing but, but this, but you know, it's kind of all we had to do. I need to, I thought there was no one over here. Oh, it's on down here. It's just this one, so I'm going to go ahead and take it up the hill here. Try to get on that side. Right, drop it there. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, come back here. Cut. And should just bring this one up to here. And yeah. That should be all of them. So B to load. Okay, turn that off. Unstrap, restrap. It looks funky, but hey, it's on there. Now, I could go ahead and take these other two right now, which I might. Um, Got to get turned around and hooked to my trailer, so. Oh. I, I'm uh, going to cut it right here for a second because it's 32 minutes in already didn't want it to be this long but hey time flies when you're having fun right so oh not into the bulldozer let me get this situated and get these other two uh logs here loaded and i'll be right back all right yeah this thing needs a bath badly thank god the air conditioner's good in here all right, I want to turn this off. I'm going to hop out. Uh, here's the truck that we got loaded. We got to take it to Sawmill North. But I'll just uh, run back here, bring this truck down a little bit further, and just to show y'all what we got done up here. It might be a while before we be up here again. As you can see, house top there, and right across there is a sheep barn. And over there is a marketplace, so that's what it be uh, overlooking. And as you see, uh, 958 liters of diesel, and we only used like five percent of the water, so we still got def. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, this is going to be our service truck that we keep because it's got we got a welder right here, air compressor back here, with two different lines. And uh, of course, our beacons and our strobes. Oh my! Oh my! I love it. We got winch on the front that actually work. Let me get out and show y'all that. Uh, get close. Yep. See. And take it over here. Hook it to a tree. Uh, we can take it way down. Let's see how far this thing reach. We still go. Oh, max winch rope length reached so about right here we got a hook on that and pull ourselves out of a good mud hole um, but here's our fuel trailer this normal fuel trailer with what holds diesel and def uh, it might have another trigger I'm, I'm not for sure um, I'm not seeing it there. I know if you hold M as for the fuel. I'll get over on this side. Okay, I don't see no interactive controls on this side. Uh, I think that's just for the truck. See all the little uh
uh, plus and stuff. Uh, we can turn on the motor and stuff like that. And but yeah, uh, this is a good little work truck. You know, we got a uh, pressure washer back here, air compressor up there, cone, fire extinguisher, well, a uh, Miller welder, welder, a uh, good strobes, and then we got this thing here. And I think if I don't know, I just had to figure out button on this side so if I get right here it might be just a fuel trailer owner so that's the we can get the uh, trying to read some of the other stuff oh R you can select work mode uh, diesel death electric charge diesel death electric charge uh, M, L, hide your markers, which I don't want that, M does that, of course R, select your modes, um, I guess that's about it for that, I got a sword you could do, Um, what's it called? Activate service function. M. So it's M on everything. Okay. So this side over here, you can work on your vehicle. This side, you can do your dev and diesel fuel and electric charge. So that's that's good to know. So you can just go up there and then. M at both places shuts it off up here. M, um, I think shut the motor and stuff off. Yeah, yeah, it's dead now. So, okay. And let's just show you our road's gonna go down through here, something like this. Might have to level it so we're not leaning. And I got a rock there to take out, a rock on our right side here to take out. Those are going to go on down. Um, right back there is a clearing out spot right over there. Might be for a shed or something. I'm going to turn these strobes off before I give somebody a, uh, what is it, a Caesar? 600 strobes off. Sorry about that. That's uh, my sheriff's office radio. Uh, fire department radio issued. Keep going that way, uh, you're going back around to the uh, cell point and then back around to our chicken our farm and, and sheep and stuff we want to or we can go out the other way. Uh, if we go this way, we've got more trees to take down. I'm just going to leave this truck right here. But if we're going around this way, um, you see we come to a clearing that's kind of right in here where it looks I go up through here and it's this you know it's clearing and right over there is where I said we we're gonna put our shop somewhere over in there and down here is just an open thing you know we might put something else here maybe uh like over here if we got enough room Maybe some hogs or something. You never know. All right, we do have the big super crane down here now. They unloaded uh, the utility shed, the office, and the bathrooms back here. Um, there's a little crane. We got other stuff to offload. Um, they're going to come up here and do some service. On our chain, it is getting badly dull. Uh, I think I showed you earlier what we had left, and that's all that stuff. Um, again, the barrels do not want to stay up for some reason. Uh, they kind of widen this out a little bit. We'll get some of the trees down. I do not know if this is going to stay or not. We got a safety crew coming out to look and see. If uh, this water thing can uh, 
still be uh, what is it called serviceable active and then if we go over here there's our sawmill and stuff oh we gotta get back into our truck run the cycle through here this is like a big old giant motor type deal that's gonna help produce electricity and stuff it's it's like a transformer um don't know for sure i hear say that we're gonna get some windmills or some uh solar panels so yeah but these are the some of the empty trailers and stuff we got uh some of these are going back some of the orange trucks is well i think they said everything's ours to keep since uh I've been helping out and stuff and they're moving they got a bigger and better project so yeah um, but yeah right there is our other uh, both of these produced metal and let's just go and see what they produce real quick it's getting late in the evening and I got some yeah this board here keeps rear punt uh, reappearing. I don't think it's going to mess with anything. We got 515 liters now. We can hold 20,000 liters. I uh, might do like we did over there. Just put a trailer that auto loads, like right here. Yeah, just uh, keep auto loading, and that way we don't have to worry about it for a while. Just have to keep them full. But there's a trash box I don't know if you can see it in there that keeps reappearing also and I deleted and deleted and or hide I should say maybe a hide list is full um, if that's the case we got some stumps over here that won't uh, work and, I, and uh, this runs itself now uh, you see the the thing is over by the trees over there I've been trying to cut down a tree here or there. And you see woods down to 49,000 liters. I had that at 54. So um, I'm going to have to cut some more. Put over there and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a big old deal. And this guy's got floor tiles in it. and uh, But anyway, we need to do... Our factories next time I don't know it'd be best to take that road go back out to the main highway might be best dodge all these poles or not poles but trees but actually trees are poles uh, I guess they take the, the straightest ones the most best ones and turn them into telephone poles so yeah, I don't know what kind of wood they use. Uh, oh crap, there's our turn. Just can't uh, let this fall over. Now all this here, oh my god, I forgot about the wood chip thing. I was supposed to bring back a, two wood chip pallets. Not happening this time. Have to do it next time, or we'll just take that tractor and, uh, and go get it. Cause we need some diesel in it anyway, and diesel uh, exhaust fluid. And yeah, I don't want to drain it all out of the trailer. Whoa, that was a save. Oof! Right, a car wasn't coming. Oh, uh, I was going to say three lines, but I get what it's now, what it's doing. All right, look at the mini map. It's a big map now. No trains coming, so that's good. Because I hate to get the cross guards caught right in the middle of the trailers. That would have been bad. Um, yeah, if we can make it right here, here's a fuel station for that one tractor. We'll probably do that in the next episode because we'll have to hook the baler and stuff up on it. 
I might just leave the. Whoa, whoa, slam on the brakes. There I go here first. We're going to drop the back trailer, front trailer, or something into here because, like I said, I can't keep up. So we're going to empty a few logs out. I'm on the back trailer, so. I just gotta be careful with the the, the uh, lines. But there ain't none down this way, so that's good. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. You see that line going across there. And don't drive out in the water too far. It's already loading. Um, the back one here, unstrap and X. Nope. Z. Wrong side. Wrong side. All right, we're gonna swap that side. Oh, I keep hitting X. We'll unload quite a few. If not all, we'll probably just do the whole trailer. Alright. That. You know what? I made a boo boo. Hang on. Well, that went somewhere. I don't know where that was going. Hmm. I guess we can leave this here because we got a lot of planks. Let's just go ahead and dump this in two. I'll put it on the front. It's not going to drive so deep. Put about right here. Unstrap. Z. Oh yeah. Perfect. Right side. Too bad they wouldn't actually float around. This should hold this sawmill for quite a bit also. Alright, there we go. Now this truck needs to go back up top. And we'll get the other tractor. And um, call it a day. Whoa, that was some air. My bad truck. I need to check to see when it's. Uh... Hey, I'm going to be uh, getting this going up and looking at our mini. Uh, this is going to be the wrong one. I'll save. Okay, as you can see here, here's our two metals. They're about the same. Uh, nothing storing and nothing spawning. I need, uh, whoa. Let me go ahead and get where I need to be, then I'll do it. But anyway, I appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting, or should I say family members. I want to thank y'all a lot for uh, subscribing and sticking around. For those that ain't done it yet, hey, it's free. Uh-oh, got a log right here. Uh, let's see. O and then B. And then strap it in. Take that off. We're going to park this guy right here real quick. Go ahead and just turn that off. And get over in our tractor here. Let's see. Go ahead and let that down. We're going to take it up here where it's a little bit more flatter, I guess you can say. And park it right there. And this thing here is ready to go. But before we go, let's go in here. Here's our two metals. That and spawning. This is storing. Um, 
I guess, oh yeah, I got to take it over to here. Change to where it's spawning. So, that is spawning, that is spawning. Lime is storing. And as you can see, we're not even halfway yet on lime, so it's going to be good. Um, and old sawmill is what it's going to be. And it is full. When that gets low enough to take a tree, it'll take a tree of its size. Uh, we have everything active. And everything here is getting put towards the building. Uh, we might try to find that building and put another one down for stuff like this. The birdhouses, cat tree and stuff. Uh, to get it off of the map into something else so it won't be so laggy. Uh, this one right here is completed. I'm going to go ahead and complete that. That's 21 extra thousand. Uh, we got rock removal. I'm not going to do the dead wood. I'm not going to do the paint in the butt. Uh, we got one more tree. So I'm going to... Uh, oh, that's active. That's why I couldn't do anything. Okay, so we need to do that in two. But right now, I want to take a look at the cows. Uh, food still good, straws good, slurry, uh, milk, all that's good. And this is the sheep's. Their food, their food, uh, food, blah, 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 blah. food is doing good. Water and productivity, puberty is getting there. Uh, 25, 40, like 25 and 40 on all of them, so not too bad. Rooster, he's getting wore out. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, the food is going down a little bit, uh, eggs are good, puberty is good on some of them, you know, look at that 83, so it won't be too much longer before we have, uh, wow, it's one, two, three, four hundred chickens, oh my. Uh, let's see here. I look like we've done pretty good today in the money as far as uh, selling the stone. I don't know if it's got it in here. Um, sold product $634,000 what we made on the stone, folks. So that's pretty good. Oh, I don't know if it's in here. Eggs, wool, milk is there. Of course, all our other stuff. I'm trying to look for. See, we can sell lime for $138. Um, oh, right here, stone. We got $150,000. I mean, 150,000 liters in the, the storage area. Um, debris crusher, we've been taking it, was up. Now nah, it's almost down, so either which way, it's about the same. Uh, I need to go to this. This is what we need to... Um, we are currently in April, so May we're going to do uh, wool, but I don't really want to because we got to take that to the boat. So it's going down through here. It should be... Uh, when we get into May, the, the stuff that says May, like March, we done miss. Uh, I don't see nothing for April. But when we get to uh, May, all these look like March. So it's just the wool that's in May. I see July, but I don't see June. July is planks. I uh, am Creek. I see another July plank song. So maybe we'll get a chance to sell some more stuff. Uh, August is bulk mulch. Uh, wood beams. So we got a uh, lot of bit of stuff to sell. Uh, you see June before we can do our, you no, know, July before we can do our wheat. 
So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, if we go in here, turn grass on, and you can see our grass fields. Um, our grass fields are ready to harvest now, but they're not at their full potential. Uh, we need to keep an eye on field one. It's going to be a cotton contract. Needs rolling on uh, some of the fields of our grass. Ready to harvest. So maybe, uh, well, when was that? It's not May and not going to be June. So two, we got four days, basically two months before we can do our wheat. So hopefully we can get this knocked out in two months. Oh, it's starting to rain. So uh, we ain't got much on the, this next layer. Just mainly getting things off of it so we can do it. And uh, getting some more trees cut. But folks, uh, this is a... Whoa, watch where I'm going. I looked over to see how much time we had left. And uh, about half of a minute. I'm missing the roads and everything else. So I'm going to continue working on what we need worked on, like the, the fields and stuff, which I don't think they need anything. Um, help these boys get this stuff down, but there ain't too many of them left. Um, but the company said if we can do it ourselves, we'll get to 2.5 million, and I'm like, sure. So I got, you know, I'm just going to cut across this way. I hope I know where I'm going. Basically making a dead end. Thought that was the way, but I'll just go up this way. But anyway, um, yeah, I figure, you know, between all my YouTube family, like Dan from 3D Outdoors, Christy Nicola, uh, her YouTube channel and you know everybody's uh, helped me out here and there and uh, we can get through the stuff ourselves and that would be 2.5 million that the farm gets so yeah um, not counting the stones uh, some of the stones are going for gravel and stuff and lime uh, I'm about to turn my beacons on Strobes and no words. Let's do our hazards also. There we go. Uh, we might buy some more farmland because we ain't getting no contracts on it, so we might well farm it, right? So, but I'm gonna take a look at it and see if I can get it where it's got a crop on it that's been fertilizing stuff. Oh, I mean, oh, I barely missed that pole. Let me jump over right here real quick. Yeah, see, uh, turn my auto strength back on. I know I need a forklift or something, but I've just been doing it this way. You know, our truck's got floor tile on it. That's why I ain't none here. And if I skip this in and go over to this one, I got some more of these things, and I just... I've been putting them up against the wall and you see how many we got and it's cause a lot and I do mean a lot of uh, lagging issues so I'm gonna try to work on getting these out of the way and stuff um oh hello how you doing anyway back my tractor before somebody steals it but anyway um I don't know if I can carry two or not. If I can carry two of those things, I'm going to get two of them. Um, go do some more tree cutting. And let's see. Let's go in here real quick. Oh. Um, look, that's our machinery we got leased so far. Uh, the soil sampler, I went ahead and bought it. Um, I know I should have done it on screen, but uh, I went ahead and done it. Uh, I like to get this truck. Um, but as you see on the other thing, it came with the uh, 
This would be nice with a dump trailer on it. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, what was I going to do? And then it's under pallets. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, miscellaneous, I believe. And. So that's a root crop. We can do. Don't say what kind. So maybe potatoes and sugar beets. And that's the unrealistic one. 90 mile an hour. 10 miles per hour. Yeah, so. Be fun doing that. If I keep remembering what I'm going after, I still think we're in the wrong. See, I want to do this here too. That's the machine that turns hay or sellage into pellets. Not pallets, but pellets. Now I hit the wrong one. Yeah, I, I guess I did. I thought it was in here. Maybe it's here. Oh, yep. Yeah, it should be in this one. About right along and up oh, right here. Uh, there's one for liquid, uh, Gobble Liquids Transport Pallet. And this here is one we got now. We got six of them. And all six of them's full. 200,000 liters. Yeah, you know, all that stuff right there is showing. So, yeah, uh, pig food, wool, all kind of other stuff, strawberries, picture frames and stuff. Now, I don't know if we can try that, but hey, we can put <laughs> dog houses and picture frames and stuff like that in one. Um,. Color, I'm gonna go with, I'm just gonna go with a uh, black aged. And, oh yeah, much better. And I'm gonna go with Unreal that gives us 200,000 liters. And, you know what? They're $1,000 a piece. We got 1.1 million, almost $1.2 million. I'm buying four of these babies. That should be two, three, four. Oh yeah, let's see. Uh, auto load is out by the road and discharge is to the back. So auto load for, for the back thing here, we need front. And just like that, auto load that. Where is that up? And this is going to go up to the wood chips. I guess. Oh man. That'd been nice. I'm thinking, folks. I I'm seriously thinking. Um, three point hitch. Okay. Now, where would that be? Is that under miscellaneous? Might really look hard. Well, that's a lot of rocks. I need to get out of here. I don't think it's going to be down here. Could be wrong. Well, guess I was. Um, try here. Oh, right there. It's a back lifter is what it's called. Uh, we're going to change the color of that to check black. Too bad the cylinder wouldn't go check black. Oh, well, yeah, it's color. We're just going to buy one. We're at 5,000. Because this help, will help carry up to the top. Lift that up and down anymore no nope. I guess it don't matter on this one I'm just gonna hook it up 
got to be on that boom. We're going to lift it up about right there so we can see. Actually do it about like that. Hopefully with no power lines. You know, we'll try something. I'll load this way, y'all. Oh, I'm glad I seen it. Uh, I got to lower this down. And do the same for this one. Oh, lower. Try not to hit nothing while I'm doing this. Because uh, I need fuel. And death. Oh, y'all didn't see that. Alright, refuel. Hope we can do the death here too. If not, we're going to have to buy some or get our trailer. People are like, what are you carrying? Probably. Uh, it's my son. Y'all heard the beep. Alright, I'm going to back out. And I just got a feel action. It's not letting me. Is there a death tanks here? I don't think I've seen any. Well, that sucks. Well, okay, this right, we're going to take these back up there. We're going to do a little bit. There's the baler and a mower. Um, so I might do some of that, but next couple hours I'm going to be cutting trees and working up here. Uh, next episode is going to be mowing and maybe buying a combine. I'm not for sure. Not for sure, so don't hold it to me. Um, but it, it's time. I promised y'all last episode that we'd be doing, uh, bailing and mowing and bailing, but it, it, I just can't do it, folks. It's got an extra, uh, stage of mowing on there, and, oh, I totally missed that sign. I, I'm gonna walk around here and look, make sure they don't got, uh, it's ice. I'm probably like, we get out of here. Oh, that's a set of mailboxes. Huh. Man, that looks just like my mailbox out on by the road almost. Waffle Hut. Breakfast. Oh, breakfast at supper. Sounds good. Uh, that's air machine. It shows death. Blue, white. Uh, death should be diesel exhaust fluid, excuse me, should be blue. Uh, kerosene should be white. Uh, this dark blue should be green for diesel and red for gas, or at least that's what it is around my area. Now, I like it. Every single pump thing has a air pump. Watch the pipe. Watch the building. Oh, I hit the building. Uh, $35 to refuel, but no death. Okay. Oh, what did I hit? Oh. I might have to get a, uh, you know what? Let's go in here to construction. And this is going to be a long episode. I am so sorry. Oh my god. Um, the under. Oh, yep. Right here. Tools. What is this? Methane tractors. An electric charge station. I know I got one. Death pump. Can we purchase here? All right. 5,000. Land's not owned by you. Are you kidding me, right? I just want to put some death down. Y'all can get the bunny from it. If I put it on my land, it should be, uh... Well... If I have to put it on my land... Oh, come on. 
that's gonna be up here I guess um, question is where hmm I'm thinking yo where should it be yeah actually uh, this can't really get rid of this building because it's got but this not what blah this ain't my land either thought I purchased it oh I'm not putting it out in the middle I could put it around there but that might go bye bye here soon um let's see if we can put it here that's the other place I was thinking about let's put it on the side right here Do it this way. And I rotate it like that. And I almost forgot something. I gotta go get my daughter from work. Um, what is that? Let's do. Let's put it right here. There we go. And let's see what else we got in here. I sold Axitive. That's an electric charging station. How the heck is that? I don't know what that is. I know it probably won't be under production, but we're just gonna look and see what all we got in here. Nothing. Decoration. Let's go to others. Lights. Hmm. That looks like a good spot. Maybe I'll light up everything. I was looking for the ones that you could put on the side of the building, but I didn't see them nowhere. Big manual. Oh, well, that's a big one. I don't need them that tall. But anyway, um, that's, that's going to do it, folks. Ooh, I saw the red light on for a second. I didn't even know there was a cross in there. All right, this should take care of us for a while. We got uh, 400,000 liters. Oh, I probably should have turned the next one, but... I go down through here yeah, yeah I should have went this crossing here but 400,000 liters of wood chips that we can hold now so uh, well I thought I had oh right there refill all right it's our death and it's taking money out of things so that's good $113 worth of do, uh, diesel exhaust fluid. So we're good to go now. Just need a maintenance thing. Um, anyway. What I was going to say is I'm going to be uh, y'all yeah, probably won't time me recording this. This is let me look at my phone. Friday the 15th which is March the 15th of 2024 when you're watching this um, it will probably be out probably more towards end of April or not end of April but around beginning of April end of March maybe give or take but uh, check out my videos to see what you miss and stuff like that and so, so on and so forth. I'm going to park this thing. No, 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 no. Let me turn around here. Because everything's going to have come off about four more, six more feet. So more trees I got to take down. So I'm parking this front one. I'm still on it. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh crap. 
Oh, what's that? Left up. Go to the other set of arms. Lower down. Detach. Voila. Now it'd be nice if we could put uh, this tree harvester thing right here on uh, something like we got on the back. All right, pipe out. And there it goes. And spill what's in front to the back. Which well, should be 50,000 liters. And folks, I'm going to end it right there. Um, I'm going to go around this other side. There's a couple. I got to be careful here and not tip over. You can see right here there's a small tree in front of me. Uh, I'm going to get that. Um, get all the small ones. Uh, the big boy up there get the big ones. And I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you all for watching and supporting me. Uh, I do have a cash app card, I believe, that's in the description right below if you're feeling froggy. If not, you don't have to. Uh, just watching my video from the beginning to the end is uh, enough for me. Uh, watch time is what's making my YouTube channel grow. Um, be sure and subscribe, folks. Because there's a lot of y'all that ain't subscribed that's watching me, according to YouTube. I know a lot of YouTubers say that. But I, I looked at my rhythm thing and, and it showed, you know, I got more watch time from unsubscribed people than I do subscribed. But as far as uh, this name a few, and I know you get this a lot, but it's true. Chrissy Nicola, Dan from 3D Outdoors, Gamer Gone Nuts, or, or Gamer, you know who you are. I don't have it all in front of me here. But, uh, Tactic Gamer. Um, lots of others, folks. Lots of others. I need to make a comment. But if you're watching this, go down below in the comments and subscribe to those people that's in the comments. Don't do a sub for sub. I want you to subscribe to them watch their videos give them some love by doing watch time put it put a video on and let it play go vacuum your your carpet or wash some dishes or take a walk get some water just let their video play while you're doing something else and then come back and leave a huge like and a comment a like on the video and a comment and subscribe to them they'll help my people out and they'll turn around and help you and maybe your people out and all of us small YouTubers will will get bigger. I guarantee it. If we do all that, I guarantee by watch time from each other and uh, subscribing and the comments and stuff, we'll blow YouTube up. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Uh, YouTube be proud of us. So uh, anyway, my rant's over. I love the view of that bridge from here. But folks... Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit the like button for me. It helps. And uh, y'all know the rest. Y'all just have a great day. A blessed day. And I'll see you in the next video. If it's here on Silver Run Forest. Or Edgewater. Or might be a new one by now. Who knows. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this for a while. So y'all stick around. Love y'all. Later. <laughs>